everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So today I'm going to create this comic style 3D text effect in Adobe Illustrator. I have already created this text effect on my channel but I have received so many requests to recreate this using voiceover. So here I am. Let's start the video. First let's remove this text effect so we can start from scratch. Let's type our text The font size will be 210 point and the font I'm using for this text effect is Sugar Bomb. Let's center this. Let's change the size of this R and O to 180 point. And next click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel. Here click on this add new fill icon and let's change the color of this layer to white next duplicate this white layer now select this layer and let's change the color then click ok next we need to apply a transform effect to this gray layer for that let's go to effect distort and transform and transform here we need to change the values of scale section for horizontal we need 99.8% and we'll keep 100% for vertical and in move section we need 0 pixel for horizontal and we need 0 0.3 pixel for vertical and we need 20 copies then click OK next select this white layer duplicate this now select this layer and let's change the color then click ok now drag this layer to bottom now select this layer and we need to apply an offset path to this green layer for that let's go to effect path and offset path and we'll apply a 18 pixel offset path let's change the joints to round and then click ok now we need to apply a transform effect to this green layer for that let's go to effect distort and transform and transform and here we need to change the values for scale section we'll change this to 98.2 percent for horizontal and we'll keep 100 percent for vertical and in move section we'll use zero pixel for horizontal and four pixel for vertical and then click ok Next we need to apply inner glow to this green layer. For that let's go to effect, stylize and inner glow. And we'll use this color for inner glow. Then click OK. Next we need 75% opacity, 8 pixel blur and change the blend mode to screen. Click on the edge and then click OK. Next duplicate this green layer. Now select this layer and let's change the color. Then click OK. Next click on this arrow to open the properties panel of this layer. Next we need to apply one more transform effect to this layer to create a 3D look. For that let's go to effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and here in scale section we need to change values like this 99.8 percent for horizontal keep the vertical to 100 percent and in move section keep the horizontal 0 pixel and keep the vertical 0 0.3 pixel this time we need 50 copies then click ok now select this inner glow and drag this effect under this transform and next close this layer now select this green layer and duplicate this layer first click on this arrow and then click on this inner glow and let's remove this now change the color of this layer to black next click on this transform 
and let's change the value and here we need to change like this then click ok we can change later if we want next select this black layer and drag this to bottom now select this layer then click on transform let's change this vertical value to 22 pixel and then click ok next we need to apply a gaussian blur to create a drop shadow for that let's go to effect blur and gaussian blur and apply a 5 pixel gaussian blur then click ok let's change the blend mode of this layer to multiply and let's change the opacity to 80 percent next select this drop shadow layer duplicate this layer now select this last layer and click on gaussian blur and increase the value to 20 pixel then click ok next click on transform and let's change the value of vertical from 22 pixel to 28 pixel then click ok next select this gray layer let's apply a drop shadow to this layer for that let's go to effect stylize and drop shadow and change the blend mode to multiply and keep the opacity to 60 percent zero pixel for x offset two pixel for y offset and three pixel blur then click ok so here is our final text effect look this is one of the easiest text effect on my channel if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching